services it provides uh, and the future direction yeah. okay so one view one view is an application which was uh, started developing in, in 2017 by myself uh, and the focus of that development was trying to build a platform where you could bring all of the business um, information availability which is scattered through multiple applications uh, across the environment uh, to bring them all together so you could see them in a single view which would help you be more productive, uh, utilise them better uh, and effectively uh, give you an easier, more user-friendly environment to work in. Uh, the key areas that uh, I identified when I was looking at these was document management was account information relating to accounts, projects, uh, all of the different groups that you're actually involved in. Uh, there's a lot of information which is duplicated, a lot of information which is uh, uh, can be used better between the groups. Uh, so it was a way of trying to better utilize that. But also, uh, I also need... Oh, <coughs> <coughs> looking at reporting um, contacts, external contacts and customers uh, information uh, which was needed on a regular basis um, you know, a way of storing that in a more productive way and then uh, that's all culminated in the point of needing all of that to be available for one area which would be classed as the user area in the application where I could perform all of my uh, tasks, I could track my tasks, I could track the events, I could use it effectively pulling all of the resources together to be used from there. Uh, I want one view does that, okay, and um, it uh, allows you to multiple users to share that information, uh, creating a very small footprint, uh, but also uh, reducing the infrastructure needed to support all of that uh, but also at the same time allowing you to minimize the need for a migration into the application infrastructure uh, by utilizing the ability to link to currently existing objects on the network um, um, on, but at the same time allowing the ability to migrate them if the need is to migrate them into the application there's for option to do that uh, or just to link to them but also be able to manage them from a security perspective from your current infrastructure so there's a lot of flexibility a lot of ability to just uh, put the application in and then link to things as you go and uh, manage them that way or you could use it in a way to consolidate your company's resources and manage them in a way to reduce the infrastructure needed uh, or to do, perform complete migrations from one infrastructure to another. Uh, this application allows you to do that uh, in a very simplistic way. Okay. Uh, so, during the course of this video, we're going to be covering the application overview, some advantages, features and services, and at the end, uh, there's information where you can post on any questions, any ideas, or uh, if you want to get involved uh, with the application development, I'm quite happy to take people to uh, fill in the gaps where my skill set doesn't cover. Um, so... Please enjoy the rest of the video and hopefully you'll like what you see and 
you might want to um, get more involved with it. Okay, so the, what we're going to cover, the index is the application overview, the advantages, features and services, and any questions, ideas and feedback. Okay, so we just want to have a quick read of the screen there. It gives you a very basic overview of the application and what it, what it tries to achieve. Okay, hopefully you've read that. If not, there's always a pause button. Okay, the advantages. Uh, security. Okay, so as the application is uses um, a number of layers of the current security models um, to do with authentication and uh, a good feature about this is any current security that you have in place, things like your NTFS permissions, any uh, PKI, that sort of stuff that scores and secures your files, is still implemented after you have actually installed this and you move services to it. Uh, so there's very little, if not no, uh, security changes needed to be made uh, to accommodate this offer. Ease of migration that ties in with the security element mentioned there, and I mentioned earlier that you could either create a, create a resource in the application, uh, or you can link to an external resource. Uh, you have the ability to move out and in, um, yeah, with the map, or you have the ability to migrate the entire folder structure that's linked to the application at the click of a button. So it's very easy to migrate and it's seamless uh, to the user. Automated updates. Uh, effectively when the front end is created you know, or development releases are released, when you log into the application it checks for updates. If there is an update available uh, it will give you the option to skip the updates and carry on with the version you've got or update to the new to the newest version uh, if there is a, a fixed version uh, that we know we can't support uh, any versions older than this then you'll be forced to update it uh, and that's the to allow the compatibility with any back-end changes to front-end changes and vice versa and so forth um, simple customized interface. Okay, so the the user there's two lots of customization within the application. You've got global changes, uh, and you've got user setting customization. Uh, both are available within one view. Uh, the global customization focuses more on icons, certain text, uh, and um, yeah color schemes and fonts where the user customization is the same uh, as global with the additions of certain sounds and layouts um, these are settings are stored in the database so if you were to log in from one or more systems you would retrieve the same settings on one or multiple logins as kind of Similar to a, glo uh, a roaming profile versus a local profile. Uh, low cost option. Uh, cost of model isn't confirmed for this, but it guaranteed to come in uh, a lot lower than what the um, current, if any, application which is available on the market is at. It is guaranteed to come in much lower than that. Um, yeah, this doesn't say that this application is not as good. Uh, what it says is that I'm aiming to introduce it as a competitive price uh, with flexible licensing options uh, which will accommodate most if not all companies interested. 
But if you want any more information on the license and the costing side, then please uh, drop us an email, which you'll find at the end of this video, uh, or drop us a question on the on my channel. Total cost of ownership reduction, storage reduction. Okay, I've mentioned you can import documents into the folder structure that's created with the application. Uh, and by doing that, you're removing the need for multiple copies of the document from the existing infrastructure. Therefore, you're going to reduce the amount of required storage to be maintained. Uh, minimal administration. Okay, so in in the application, there's an administration section. Okay, you know, there's very simplified admin in there as far as users, groups, uh, settings, backup uh, options, and uh, auditing and events uh, administration. This can easily be achieved from a single administrator. Um, Therefore, reducing the need for a large admin team to support this. Uh, a lot of the actions such as database backups can be scheduled and controlled through the application. Um, so this would minimize the need, if at all, for a backup operator, uh, for example. Um, uh, resource management because the application tracks user accounts the where they are allocated to as in if they are assigned to an account or a project or uh, all of the objects they are assigned to can be tracked and therefore you can measure the resource of that user uh, and report on that which will allow better resource management So cost management as well. Okay, so um, the theme we've been trying to uh, maintain as, a, as the development of these applications continues is a user-friendly, informative and productive environment. Okay, that's the aim of this application uh, and I like to feel that I've achieved that so far. Um, the only way I can really find that out is by getting feedback from uh, users and then guiding the development according to that. Uh, uh, but the user area and the rest sections are very uh, friendly, uh, informative, and you can carry out all required actions from them. From them uh, windows as it were and uh, it makes it quite productive and uh, for all members all user members or groups and uh, so the flexibility of deployment uh, uh, development shall I say uh, is like I say the development has a focus has a direction but a lot of the content which can be added or can be integrated with it will really come from ideas from the users. Um, you know, I'm, I don't work in the admin department or the sales department or the, uh, I'm not an exec or I'm not a manager. Therefore, they know better at what they need and what they would like. So the feedback from them will help develop in these areas. Um, so feedback is important. There is a section in the application which allows you to give development ideas and feedback uh, to help guide the priorities and the development options of the application. Yeah, so features and services. Um, I'll just put these on the board and you can uh, have a quick read of these.
So, uh, the features and the services uh, will be covered in a lot more detail in the future uh, uh, videos in this series. Uh, so, if you would like to focus on one of them, then please see the video when it comes out. If there's anything that isn't covered in the videos which you would like to know about specifically, then drop me a comment and I'll, um, I'll put something together to cover that. Uh, I'm very open to people wanting to see things about uh, in more detail if it interests them. Um, I'm looking to get ideas back from them. Uh, I have things that may not come to end, so we could put them in to make this a more future rich application. But um, the only way that's going to happen is if you do let me know. So please drop us comments, um, uh, emails, and uh, we can start building a relationship and start building these ideas into uh, the application. Alerting and broadcasting, that's something I want to add there is a, uh, separate from the ones, is um, the alerts, you've got three sections, uh, three methods of alert. You've got the normal style alert that appears on the top of your screen. Uh, you've got a notification bubble uh, which will pop up and display for a length of time and then disappear. All have audible alerts with them. Uh, which can be configured for the user settings. Uh, the third option is the email alerting, which is will be effectively generating emails to your user account, um, which can be quite handy when you're not on the application. Um, uh, this currently is um, active but will be moving with the back end features of it will be moving to the one view server application which i'll cover on another video um, i thought i'd mention that one the group alerting and broadcasting is a feature that uh, it works at the group level uh, effectively you can generate an alert uh, which will target all users of a specified group or groups. Uh, very useful when it comes to things like uh, account issues and incidents, uh, such as uh, an outage of a service for a certain account, uh, which needs support from a server team, for example, or from a network team or a storage team. Uh, you can create an alert that will only be visible to them uh, and it will uh, provide information and um, provide status updates and then once the issue is resolved you can then cancel it which will then come back up from their display. Okay. okay, so that's a very a uh, high level overview of the application. I'm really looking for uh, any feedback, any ideas uh, of where we could go from there. What I'm also interested in is anyone wants to get involved with the development. Uh, if they do, is a list of current required skill sets to, in order to contribute. Um, and we can have a chat, drop us a, drop us a comment or a message through the channel. Uh, or that email that uh, is displayed there, and we'll have a, have a chat, see what we can put together, and see where we we'll go from that. But I'd just like to say thank you very much for uh, watching. Uh, I hope it's grabbed a little, grabbed your interest, and um, I hope we can go somewhere from here. So please look forward to the videos which will be coming up for the additional actions. Um, which the first one will be the login and the overview uh, and then following on the chain of uh, which was listed at the beginning of this video okay thank you and uh, have a fantastic day <laughs>